Hello friends and family, I'm Olivia's Olivia's Romantic Home and welcome in to my Christmas cottage. I cannot wait to share with you guys everything I have decorated from head to toe in my home and it is a blessing and honor to have you all here. Come on in, let's grab some coffee and cookies and let me share with you guys my Christmas decor. So welcome into my Christmas home tour. I also opened the doors of my home to some lovely ladies that do an annual Christmas home tour and charity fundraiser every year. And this year they are honoring their sweet friend, Karen. Guys, I was diagnosed with ALS November 15th and I wanted to give back to the community because to me that's always the most important thing, right Amy? Absolutely. And so we put this together, me and Sherry. <laughs> and, um, this is our first home, beautiful. We are raising money for winningthefight.org, which is a part of the Deanna Protocol. And I'm so excited that all these ladies are here donating. And thank you for opening up your home. It is Absolutely. gorgeous. Yes. 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 So, yes. 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 so it's time for the Christmas home tour. Um, we're thankful and blessed to have you yes. guys here and this wonderful group of ladies. I'll leave a link in the description box for the donation site. Yes. Is there you tour the home? Yes. 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 Into my Christmas foyer for my home tour with all of the ladies build this blessings basket with prayer cards and also some sweet little candies. I love these wrapped in Ghirardelli candies and then just some other random candy canes and whatnot. And before they left, I made sure that everybody had a packet of prayer cards. I just hope that that helps their holiday be really nice. And then I love to keep my favorite addictive Werther's at the front of my um, home. Just a nice little sweet treat. I actually though have to put them in the closet and hide them from myself because I love eating them like way too many. Um, and then I just have this beautiful nativity set up, you know, for me, Jesus is the reason for the season. And so this just helps keep me in check and remind me this is what we're here to celebrate um, and to just bring joy and love and goodness into the hearts of our family and friends. And so I have added that to my entryway table this year. And then um, my important pictures of my children and my family, um, just beautiful um, pictures framed in pretty little gold frames that I found at resale shops or at Hobby Lobby, you know, home decor stores. I like making sure that all of my frame colors are cohesive and then these pretty little lamps I have on either side of my foyer table. And I found these at Hobby Lobby. And then tucked back behind the pictures, I have a wax warmer that I love to put new wax melts in. And then I also will have a candle burning for when my guests come over. I like to do a baked goods um, candle and I like to also have something baking. So when my ladies came over, I had baked fresh baked banana bread. And I remember a couple of them commented that it was even still warm. So this one is from Bath and Body Works and it's sugared snickerdoodle and it smells so delicious. In fact, I will have people come into my home and tell me that it smells like heaven. So having something smelling good at your foyer table, your entryway table is such a nice way to make a guest feel cozy. I am such a scent um, girl. And so I always notice that. Um, so that is something I encourage you all to do. Anyway, for the decor for my foyer, I have added in a Christmas tree on either side of the table. They're somewhat matching. I did share a DIY with you guys on how I created these. These are kind of trees that I just bought at Walmart and their lights have gone out. So in place of that, I have just clipped some flickering flameless candles. You guys can get these on Amazon. So they have just like a nice little glow in the evening at time. I don't need a big light back here in the evening. And then for this, I just, this is just a really beautiful little swag that I added. It has some of those Christmas bells. And so I feel like it's really festive. And then you guys might notice back behind me is the portrait of my kiddos. And um, we are at the beach. And for this one, I just added a pretty tassel, a bow to the top. And then I used a vintage frame and framed it in a vintage frame. The kids got me that for Christmas a couple of years ago, I think. And so it's just really special. It was a family vacation that we took. I 
talk to you guys about this big, beautiful Christmas tree that I did in my living room. I was able to partner this year with David Christopher's, which is an online um, high-end designer Christmas tree company. And they are a sweet little couple. They're a faith-based faith couple and they're amazing. If you guys have a chance, go check out some of their decorating videos. They're on YouTube and TikTok and Instagram, I believe. Um, so it's David Christopher's, but they sent me all of these absolutely incredible decorations, picks and ribbons for my Christmas tree. So for my Christmas tree this year, I wanted to go with a theme of old world romance. I don't even know really if that makes sense. But I guess just the idea of an old world Christmas mixed in with a romantic theme. So I don't know if you guys can see this down here, but there's some really beautiful roses, um, these amazing old world Santas, and then their eucalyptus. There's these really, really gorgeous poinsettias mixed in with everything. There's um, partridges and, um, is that partridges, pears? I don't know, but they're these beautiful green fruit um, branches and then these are probably some of my favorite picks that I've ever had the opportunity to use and they're green velvet and they're tipped just so elegantly with sequins and then frosted berries. I'm wondering if they have an after Christmas sale because if so I might be popping on and getting some things for next year. I know they did um, some faith-based ribbon. I think it was custom ribbon this year. I remember seeing them post that so it has like crosses on it I think. Um, and then here's some fun little ornaments that uh, were sent to me and the kids a couple of years ago by um, my sister-in-law. Look at how adorable these are. Somebody had commented on one of my videos that there weren't any, um, you know, handmade ornaments, but there actually are. I usually add those after I post my big decorating video, but... Um, and also when I can find the tote that has them in there. <laughs> so anyway, but yeah, and then for the ribboning, there's the sequin ribbon, and then there's also the beautiful snowflake ribbon. And then at the top, I did a big giant um, tree topper with berries and sparkle um, picks. Another thing I wanted to share with you guys is some of the vintage wrapping paper that I found at the resale shop. And I think it's so pretty. It's very elegant. It's actually originally from Hallmark. And then I just added in some little Dollar Tree ribbon. I created a homemade tag and then added in those little dried oranges and the little sparkle at the top. I don't do all of the presents this way, but I like to create some really pretty ones and just kind of put them in the front of the tree. Um, that way they look really pretty. And I mean, you know, I don't have time to do every single one of them like that. If I did, I would love to do that. So here is the other Christmas tree that I did in my living room, but let's say hi to the star of the show, Mr. Benji Bear. He is my little terrier, and I'm going to say he feels like he's beefing up for the winter just so a little bit. This the tree over here, this has been a trend I've noticed for the last year or two, is to kind of do this swag ornaments on your tree. So basically, this is probably one of the easiest um, trees that I have done. You simply take a piece of floral wire 
and you want to add one of the Christmas ornaments to the base and then you just string a couple more on and then you can simply wire it into the tree. And so I just did several bundles of that. And then for the top part, I just added in a big, beautiful bow. And then I kind of did a reverse on um, adding in my picks. Instead of adding them to where they're coming up, I added them to where they're kind of cascading down the tree. But they're these mercury glass um, vases and they have like a little basket weave around the base. And for this, I just added in some of the remnants of what I had left over from doing my big main Christmas tree. I added this pretty little bow and then um, these beautiful gold leaves, um, just one large poinsettia in, and then I wanted to give it a little bit of a cascade with some of this garland and then just some pretty berries. Now over here on my mantle, I have two sets of stockings hung. To my mantle, I added two beautiful reindeer from Hobby Lobby, and I had done a little DIY and share with you guys how you can easily Christmas up your reindeer, just adding in a pretty bow and, um, you know, some greenery cascading down. This bow has beautiful sequins, and then just adding, you know, some berries and this beautiful um, green, um, pick that I just kind of pulled off from some of my Christmas leftovers from doing my big tree. Again, these were David Christopher's um, goodies. Now to create a really full effect, I have layered several different garlands together and then added in a bow in the center of my mantle, a couple of ornaments sprinkled throughout, and then bows on either side. And then I just added in some pretty little poinsettias to the side of that to really Christmas things up. Now for my screensaver on my TV, again, you just go to YouTube, you type in Christmas screensaver, and it has so many different ways to add ambiance to your holiday home. I think this is the perfect way to um, welcome guests into your home, which you'll want to put Christmas music on as your friends and family come home for the holidays. At least that's what I love to do. It just makes everybody feel in that festive Christmas spirit and it allows your TV to look like a decor piece rather than just a black box TV. <laughs> and there's so many different scenes you can choose. So you can choose something with falling snow, you can choose like a winter scene, you could also just choose fine art. So go to your YouTube, search fine art screensaver or Christmas screensaver and it will have music that plays. Um, so I love adding just that nice little touch and sometimes it's about all those little nice touches. <laughs> Welcome in to my Christmas kitchen. This is truly the heart of my home, especially for me in the morning as a very busy mama. I love to have a cup of coffee. I currently have been using Nespresso. It is my favorite coffee. It definitely jumpstarts my day. I'm going to go ahead and um, make one because I have a very busy evening tonight. It's actually Friday night and um, my son's girlfriend Skylar is graduating from college this weekend and so we have a lot of family dinners um, planned and celebrations so tonight is a family dinner and um, all of that kind of fun stuff so I'm gonna have a midday coffee which um, I but for my um, coffee I'll share with you guys how I like to dress my coffee so to dress my coffee I love to add in a big giant tablespoon of the Italian sweet cream coffee creamer from all these. I also love the Starbucks um, cinnamon dolce coffee. I just add a big giant dollop of that, give it a little mixy mix. And then I love to take my whipped cream. I also get this at all these. And you'll probably hear my puppy dog come running because I give him a treat um, of whipped cream. So I add my whipped cream. Here he comes. You guys want to see him? He's so Is that yummy. Was that yummy? Oh, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. Oh, that's a good boy. The next thing that I add to my coffee is just a little shake of cinnamon, and then I put it in the microwave for 39 seconds to let that whipped cream melt down, and it is so yummy. I have two cups of this every morning. I never have a third cup, but today I'm gonna have that third cup because I do feel like I need that extra boost of caffeine 
with everything that I have going on over the weekend. Okay, now that I have my delicious coffee, I'm gonna show you guys around my little Christmas kitchen. Starting out with, of course, the heart of the home where I make all my delicious treats and dinners for my family. I have the cute little Mackenzie Child stuff set out right now. And if you guys can see up here, I also added a beautiful garland to the top part of my little kitchen cabinets. I put gingerbread houses up there and some faux cakes that Alyssa and I made. Um, and then another fun little gingerbread thing. Because my counter is so small, I actually have my utensils put up. There's just very, very, very little room on my kitchen counter, especially when I'm hosting get-togethers. But you know what? It's a cozy, fun little space and it's easy for me to manage. So there's that. Now let me share with you guys this cute little um, Christmas um, setup that I have here. So I just have muffins that I shared with my ladies for the Christmas home tour. Um, and then I added this fun little crown to the top of my little muffin tin. And then for the Christmas cookie plate, when I had all the cookies set out for the ladies, I used this fun little um, Christmas cookies plate and it even has a fun little recipe. Would you guys like a cookie? I'm telling you, these are so, so, so delicious. Um, I have chocolate chip and I have cranberry. And then my favorite right here are these cream filled ginger snaps. Now over here, this is kind of my entertaining table. And I had the idea to add in this three tiered dessert tray or really it could be any kind of tray. It's really heavy duty. I found it at Hobby Lobby a couple of years ago. It was actually on the Christmas clearance, I think two years ago. But what I did for this one or my entertaining yesterday was I added just the small little bottled waters to these. I find that when you're having guests over, it's better to have the little short bottled water because I notice that no matter what guests I'm having over. Everybody loves to grab a bottle of water dishes, but here is, I think that originally these were the champagne glasses for back in the day. They actually were these little short glasses, and I believe that these were the wine glasses. So I have a full set of these. I've always wanted a full set of beautiful dishes, and um, Along with the dish set, I found a complete china set of 12 with this beautiful pattern. And I believe that this is Noritake, um, but they're gold rimmed. And the funny part about that is um, I have been looking for a gold rim vintage china set for months, scouring the thrift store. And I just happened to stumble into the thrift store one day and the complete set, and I mean it was in mint condition, the little lady that owned it never used it. Um, her husband had bought it for her and they were married for 50 plus years. So to find this beautiful set um, that she had, you know, so lovingly donated and look at how pretty that pattern is. And oh my goodness, I'm just in love. And I vowed to use this set as much as possible. Um, so I have this cute little sign that says, "'Twas the night before Christmas. Um, because we've really turned up the volume on adding Christmas, Christmas, Christmas to everything. From Dollar Tree, I found these beautiful, and I consider them to be very elegant poinsettia napkins. Now, the uh, choice for plates was a little bit less elegant, so I chose these um, cute little snowflake plates, which I think they're adorable. Um, and from Dollar Tree, and they're just toss away plates, so we're not gonna worry about that. Now, I did find this beautiful vintage vase at a local flea market, and I shared with you guys how to add kind of some whimsy to just your regular vases. And so for this one, I had added these cute little candy cane goodies, and then to pull in the vase, I just added in these beautiful, this was a super um, high-end frosted um, David Christopher's piece. And again, this was just kind of some remnants from my big tree. And so I just created this super easy, little elegant um, 
a floral arrangement. And so because I have so many kind of fun and whimsical gingerbread um, things sitting around my kitchen, like this cute little gingerbread house, this is from Hobby Lobby. And actually it looks like it lights up. I, you know, I've never pulled out the little thing. Look at that, it lights up. I just realized that and it had a battery that was working. You guys must be good luck for this home tour. Um, so anyway, but I thought that this, um, the fun and then the elegance just kind of were just a fun little touch because this is kind of my serving area and drink area and all of that kind of fun stuff. And then this beautiful painting is um, from a resale shop as well. So I just thought that was a nice touch. And then to open up my space, I did add matching mirrors. These are an anthropology dupe that they have at Hobby Lobby. They also have a similar one at Walmart that they're currently carrying. But my home is so small that to make it feel bigger and appear to just have more uh, life and light and size, I add mirrors. And that kind of is a trick on the eye to where when you look at the space, you're like, oh, it feels a little bit bigger, but it's really not. <laughs> now moving over to the other side of my little cottage kitchen, I have um, this cute little fresh baked gingerbread treats sign set out. It's actually covering up the outlet cover. And then again, I have one of these little gingerbread houses and little did I know they light up. So let's see if this one Look at that, how adorable is that? Who knew? Being from 1998, you guys know I'm a 90s, 2000s girl and I have no shame in my vintage game. I like to set it out to different um, pages. I think for Thanksgiving, I did an hors d'oeuvre page, but I love the richness of, it has little sugar plum pillowcases, so it has ideas for homemaking, which I love homemaking. My mother was a homemaker, and so I love DIY crafts. I mean, there's so many fun little crafts that you guys can create in here, but then it has just beautiful pictures of just really elegant place settings, and I even loved this little idea for, you know, behind your dining room chair, which I added florals and bows to my chair. Um, so these were just kind of some fun ideas, and actually I found somebody's business card back in there but on this page I have it turned to all the trimmings and so we're just going to set that out because the next event that I will be hosting will be Christmas dinner with my family and, and then for this beautiful little Christmas tree this is actually an inexpensive little five dollar Target um, Christmas tree that I put down into my Mackenzie Child's canisters you guys know that I love Mackenzie Childs and I've been collecting just a couple of their pieces when they go on massive sale over the years. And then I shared with you guys a DIY on how to create these really pretty little dried oranges. And I added a bow and some candy canes to the top. And so let me share with you guys a little bit more in my kitchen. Now underneath all of the counters, I will tell you that I added these little inexpensive Amazon lights it brings such a mood into my kitchen. I absolutely love it. Um, and so I added in just a couple of little oranges and then some of those little foam roses from Amazon to give it just a little bit of a Christmas touch. But because I didn't attach the garland like with super heavy duty um, attachments, I just wanted to keep it very light and simple with that. So let me show you one more little space in my kitchen that's kind of cute. <laughs> Okay, I'm definitely a craft nerd, but beyond that, I'm also an organization nerd and I love finding new ways to organize things. You guys, this fun idea for creating elegance and whimsy in with your you know, dish soap and your hand soap. Don't look too closely because listen, this is real life and I really use all of this. But I simply added these cute little bottles I found off of Amazon. I put my Dawn dish soap in here and you guys can see that it says dish soap and then just my hand soap in here. And then I added them to an antique tray to just make it feel a little bit more fancy. And then another fun thing you guys can do to fancy up your kitchen is put regular everyday objects inside of just little vintage jars. So this is my sponge and then my dish brush, which you have to have at your sink. Um, you have to live a real life. And so my kitchen is so small, I'm just gonna leave that out and put it right there. 
And then I found some fancy, um, at a resale shop, I found these beautiful fancy tassels. I did add some pretty Christmas whimsy to my little kitchen chandelier over there. And then probably my most favorite thing, and excuse my dishes, listen, I am just rolling with it with this Christmas home tour, but I have to share you what the kids do for me every year is they add, they um, make a Christmas calendar for me, actually just a calendar for me. They give it to me for Christmas and look at how cute the Christmas jammies are. So we're going to be doing Christmas jammies again this year. We've done them every year for the last couple of years. Um, so I'm excited for that and I just keep that on the side of my fridge and I have a little command hook that um, holds about three pounds because calendars can be heavy but that way when I'm washing dishes I can see pictures of my family and all of that kind of fun stuff. And then another fun thing I have to share with you guys over here. So these you can also get off of Amazon but it always drives me crazy when my pictures are falling down using magnets. So these are uh, my two sons, but um, these are just little sleeves that you can buy to fit your pictures down in. And then they simply go directly onto your refrigerator and you can have all of your pictures organized. I've tried to keep my refrigerator clutter free, but there's just no way. My heart just always wants to see my kids. And so I plaster my refrigerator full of my kids' pictures. Um, so I think that's just a fun thing to do. And I have Christmas cards um, from friends and family that have started coming in. So all of that kind of fun stuff. Now let's pop in to my Christmas um, dining room. <laughs> so recently our pastor in church talked about inviting people to dine at your table and to have a seat at your table. I hope this Christmas you welcome people to your table. You forgive people that need to be forgiven and you forgive yourself um, or ask for forgiveness if that needs to happen. So for my dining room table, I just added in this sweet little plaid tablecloth. The setting is constantly changing here in my dining room. Um, but I have these cute little table and chair sets. I got them for the thr at the thrift store um, years ago and they're vintage, <laughs> kind of just like me. But um, for my table setting, I I'm going to be using these and I use these for Thanksgiving. But again, this is that Noritake China that I found at a resale shop. And I just have these plates layered. And then from Hobby Lobby on clearance, I found these beautiful brown kind of bamboo um, plates. This is more of like an everyday setting. I also have gold chargers that I like to use. Um, for a more glamorous setting. I think for the holidays, it's also really, really nice to just set out fruit. I know I have so much candy set around, but I also like to set out fruit to kind of pull in that natural element. And then for my candlesticks, I found these beautiful candlesticks, again at a resale shop. And then at Home Goods, I found these lovely um spiral candlesticks that are absolutely gorgeous um and then for my centerpiece i like to add in during the holidays thanksgiving and christmas i love using these quail or pheasants i'm not can't remember which ones they are and then of course the flickering flameless candles again these are in my amazon store but these are just really lovely they just cast such a nice glow and they're super safe they are not going to be melting down anywhere and then for my centerpiece, I have this chinoiserie jar with a pretty little floral that I had created. The Christmas tree that you all see in the background, I shared with you guys in another video. In fact, you guys can find all of my decorations in a video on my YouTube channel or my Facebook tree that I created at the beginning of the Christmas season. And I went with a lot of soft creams and whites. In fact, last year's theme was a Christmas, um, more of a glam Christmas with all whites and golds and creams. So I did have quite a bit of ornaments left over from that. Um, I didn't decorate nearly as much last year. So I just had enough really to do this big tree. And then up above the we have my chandelier and to pull in kind of some of that chinoiserie that's over here on the table, I added in the chinoiserie ribbon, which you guys can easily find on Amazon. And then I also added the chinoiserie ribbon over here and with my little chair settings. Um, and then I added in just this pretty 
sparkly piece and then just some realistic um, white roses to kind of go in with this glam tree over here um i took you guys off my tripod because it just i can't really show you guys the full effect so here is the glam tree and i put feathers at the top and then i have my pretty little owls and lots of ribboning and then this was from my sweet friend mel um, she makes these really cute little dolls and they're like the little vintage Kellogg dolls. She does not sell them, so please, I don't have any way to link them. But also for my friend Lorena's flea market booth, I found this beautiful um, uh, romantic painting and then I just put little vintage mirrors on either side of that. And so I was going to go with all creams in my dining room, but I kind of ran out of time to just make that a cream filled theme and room. So I just kind of rolled with adding in some of the reds and the creams and all of those different colors. <laughs> So welcome in to my cozy Christmas bedroom. In this room, I actually put up a full-size tree. This is the first year I have done a full-size tree in my bedroom, but I used a technique where I swagged the poinsettias and then I swagged the ribbon and the ornaments. There is a full video on how I created this beautiful tree on my YouTube channel. Okay, now moving in to my bedroom setting, I love to get really dramatic and just creative with how I use curtains in pretty much all of my rooms, even my bathrooms. Um, I think that they can really just add style and grace to a room, and that's really what I wanted to do in my bedroom. My bedroom is really small, and it's painted white, and repainting things is just to me I would love to have the energy and time to repaint my room when I get in the mood to do a different color um, I may start exploring some wallpaper options but for now a little trick that I have that's very easy for me to do um, is just adding curtains to the backdrop of my bed and so for this one I used these gold curtains and they have these really pretty little tassels that come off the sides believe it or not I found everything at a resale shop I'm just gonna be able to create this but um, I love it I love the um, I don't know if you guys remember from the 90s or 2000s, Jessa McClintock, I think I'm saying that correctly, but my mom used to always uh, buy us Easter dresses from that line, and to me it was a designer line. Growing up um, on 100 acres in Arkansas, you know, I didn't know anything about designers except for what I would see in magazines, and I remember thinking how beautiful her creations were, and so that's kind of reminiscent of how I feel about this bedding. It's kind of that old <laughs> or vintage 90s, 2000s. Um, which that's funny to say that the 90s is vintage, um, but it is, and it's actually back in style. So who knew uh, my big hair and my big patterns are back in style for some, and for me, maybe they never really went out. And I have my pretty little joy pillow, and um, that is just, you know, I think I picked that up at Michael's years ago. This beautiful tray is actually a find that I think I found at a garage sale 20 years ago, but it's just a large mirror, and it has a really ornate scrolling pattern. And on it, I just have this pretty little DIY that I shared with you guys on another video. And this is just like a little floral off of Amazon, but I Christmased it, um, which you guys are probably wondering how much work I'm gonna have to undo all of my Christmas. Well, fun fact, we are gonna do a Valentine's Day or romantic home tour in February. So I'm gonna be un-Christmasing some things, but then adding back in hearts and roses and all of that kind of fun stuff. And then also from a resale shop, I found this really beautiful um, acrylic uh, uh, baby Jesus um, Mary and Joseph and actually you can see this is <laughs> from a resale shop and it was seven dollars um, and 37 cents so probably need to take the tag off of that and then you guys know my favorite thing under the sun are the flickering flameless candles that you find on Amazon and hopefully my battery didn't go dead. But so these are really great, especially if you have pets or small children, they do mimic, um, you know, a flickering flame. And let me just turn this light off so maybe you guys can see a little bit better. There it is. But I have these linked in my Libby's Romantic Home Amazon store if you guys want to check that. This one is one of my favorites. It's called this one is one of my favorites and it is called Merry Christmas Ambiance. And then over here on my little table, I just have a picture of me and all of my kiddos. 
and this beautiful, elegant um, swag that I created, really with just the remnants, trimmings of um, my Christmas tree. And then at a resale shop, I just found this little lamp. And one of my favorite things to add to bring ambiance to any room is a small little lamp. I'm not a big fan of overhead lighting at all. Um, I think I got that from my mom, but I really love the cozy vibe of lamps. <laughs> Now over here, we are at my vanity dressing table. I suggest if you all can fit one of these into your bedroom or just any little space that you have, this makes you feel so glamorous. And I found this on Amazon. It's a tiny table because this is just a little bitty tiny space. I have this vintage chair, so you might hear it's kind of squeaky. And then I have all of my makeup stored in here. And I have um, a mirrored light here and it's magnified because guess what you guys my eyes are starting to go bad these are terrible um they're from dollar tree <laughs> i have good glasses but i misplaced them somewhere and then i just love to find really pretty vintage bowls um, at resale shops and in this one i have all of my favorite uh, headbands i love wearing headbands um, some pretty pearls and then this super cute pink passport book which i found on amazon i still have not had a chance to travel internationally since attending my sister's wedding in london is where her and her husband live um, but i hope to do that very soon and then to make this feel a little bit more Christmassy, I added this beautiful David Christopher's Magnolia Poinsettia pick with the gold center. And then I also have my Jolly Gingerbread um, Village um, uh, hand cream, body cream. It's body cream from Bath and Body Works and it smells so, so, so good. Um, my favorite perfume that I am wearing right now is Valentino. I actually got this for my daughter and she didn't like it and so I started wearing it and I've had quite a bit of compliments on it. Um, so anyway, this is my little dressing space and then this beautiful picture back here is something that I picked up at a resale shop. I'm always looking for unique art um, at resale shops and um, you know, then I like to change them around and then if it doesn't work in my home, I'll give it away to a friend or I've been known to also just redonate things. <laughs> Welcome um, in to my Christmas powder room. Okay, so this is a very small space. In fact, I can barely fit my tripod in the doorway here to even show it off to you all, but I Christmased my, um, uh, mirror here. So I added this beautiful garland and basically I just took a very terrible crunchy garland that was not cute to look at and what i did to kind of trick the eye to make it look a little bit more high end is i added in at the base um this beautiful hobby lobby garland i knew that i was going to be covering the center part up with bows and um you know christmas ornaments so i didn't worry about um how just not cute the garland was. And it, it wasn't terrible, it's just a green garland that was just pretty boring. It didn't have like a lot of pretty greenery or anything in it. So to really jazz it up, again, I added in some of the drippy kind of frosted um, garland from Hobby Lobby. Super easy to clip apart, which is something to look for. If you're going to take garland and use it as picks, you want to find something that isn't going to kill your hands um, when you're trying to clip it apart. And then I added some of these beautiful velvet um, greenery with, um, and these are just they almost remind me of a mistletoe leaf, but they're so beautiful. They're from David Christopher's and they were remnant left over from decorating my large living room tree. And then I just did cluster ornaments. I added them in to either side and then the center. So I did it in threes, which is a little decorating tip you guys might want to use. And then I created these big, large red velvet bows. And then I added a little bit of a deeper, smaller velvet um, ribbon into the center to finish it off. I attached everything with, um, 
uh, zip ties so it stays on there really nicely and I'm actually going to keep this garland up through the new year and I'm going to change out the ornaments and we're going to do some beautiful probably Victorian style cherubs or hearts. I am going to be having a romantic Valentine's Day home tour for you all um, to enjoy and then for my pretty little hand towel here I picked these up at a resale shop. I think they were 50 cents, um, regularly a dollar. What a steal. And then I found this beautiful, this is actually a larger bath towel, but I just, you know, folded it in a really lovely manner. And so this is a larger hand towel holder. And that way um, I have two little hand towels there. And then for my smelly good, um, I have the winter candy apple from Bath and Body Works. Oh, it smells so delicious and it's so Christmassy. This is really whimsical and kind of silly, but I created a little Christmas toilet paper. And so I just basically cut and wrapped um, a couple of rolls of toilet paper and then added a jewel and then I'm adding a plain roll to the top of my little toilet paper holder here um, and that way my guests don't feel bad about unwrapping um, one of the toilet paper rolls that's fancy this will, I will not be able to keep up with by any means but for Christmas how cute is that to have some fancy potty paper <laughs> And then let me take you guys just a little bit higher here. We have um, this beautiful reindeer and just these really sweet little trees. And then I did some curtaining over here. And then I created some of that fancy curtaining that I was telling you all about where I added just an extra rod up here at the top. And then I found these beautiful panels with the beautiful fringe. And it is a really a deep um, maroon color. Um, so I think that combining reds is so beautiful. It might be something that, you know, you think that you can't do. But for me, I think that it just looks absolutely stunning. It looks so elegant. I added in this beautiful panel to either side of my shower curtain and then my shower curtain is just underneath here and if you guys want to get really fancy you can order these beautiful bottles off of Amazon and um, put your shampoo and conditioner in them and then also look for some pretty little soap bottles how pretty is that and this just has regular olive oil um, so, but you know, when a guest comes over or when I'm, you know, taking a shower, I just think it's a nice little touch and it's not an expensive thing to do, um, but it just makes your home feel a little bit more luxurious. Mr. Santa, please leave your name, message, and what you want for Christmas after the tone, and Santa will add it to his list. Ho, ho, ho! Hi Santa, this is Olivia with Olivia's Romantic Home and I am so excited for Christmas. This year I would love to ask for peace, love, and joy for all of my family and friends. And P.S. We have all been on the nice list. Talk soon. Bye. Okay, you guys, welcome into my Christmas guest bedroom. This is actually my son's bedroom. Um, he's been off to college for many years now. So I thought, you know what? We're gonna turn this into kind of a Christmas wonderland. Over here, I have created a fun little whimsical gingerbread tree. I'm hanging on to all of my gingerbread goodies because in hopes of one day, once they're all out of college and ready to settle down, they can start having some grandbabies for me. I'm super excited for that. So anyway, I decorated this fun little tree with some whimsical treasures here. For my guests, I do like to put out a lovely little vintage serving tray of waters and chocolates. And um, sometimes I'll put fruit out, it just really depends. And then I have a family picture over here and um, just a cute little hot chocolate sign. Now over here with the guest bedding, I found this beautiful bedding at um, a flea market. And of course it was factory sealed. So, um, and then I just set out this fun little um, 
tray. This is actually my computer tray, but I thought it would be so fun for my Christmas home tour. My dear friend Cheryl sent me this mug and it says, I just want to bake cookies, drink hot cocoa, and watch Christmas movies, which I plan to do that um, for the next couple of days. Hopefully once Christmas gets closer, I put a cute little candy cane inside and then added um, just some little Hershey Kisses for the little book. I thought it would be super sweet. I had picked this up at a resale shop years ago and it's a family Christmas Eve and it's celebrating Christ's birth through scripture and song. And um, it is so beautiful. In fact, I think I might read this um, in a video for you guys if I can remember to do that around Christmas time. Um, and it says, for unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. And that's Isaiah 9, 6. And the intro says, What a joyous time of year. The air is filled with happy carols, glittering strings of lights, punctuate the darkness, and children await with eager anticipation the surprise of Christmas morning. Neighbors exchange tokens of friendship. Our hearts expand with gestures of giving, and all the world unites in wishes of peace and goodwill. Mere words seem inadequate to capture the magic of Christmas. Neither can they adequately convey our feelings as we focus on remembering the real meaning of Christmas. We are consumed with overwhelming gratitude and love as we recall our Savior, a babe in a humble stable, changing the course of all humankind with the enormity of his singular sacrifice. Because of him, we have the unparalleled possibility of returning home to our loving Father one day. It is our hope that these beautiful illustrations, touching hymns, and sacred words of scripture will invite the Spirit into your home this season as you celebrate the holy birth of the Messiah. And then it has, it came upon a midnight clear, and it has the words and the music notes and then it begins um, the story with the angel Gabriel so I think that'll be a beautiful story to read I hope to read this to my kiddos and I just have that on top of a pretty little Christmas um, napkin and then it says good tidings of comfort and joy on the beautiful pillow I really want my guests to just be able to feel like that they can relax and feel comforted and feel like they are safe in my home I think a home should be a safe place no matter what. Create a safe place for yourselves and your loved one. Now let me share with you all my Christmas crafting studio. So I have it set up as kind of a cozy space. This is just like a little reading area with an extra chair and books and a lamp. Then we have kind of like a little workout area over there. And then I put a sofa next to um, my office chair and this space is actually out in my garage so I've done a lot of work over it over the last couple of years and I painted it to look like um, my living room so it doesn't look like a garage it looks like the extension of my house but if you can see up there to the right you're gonna see my garage um, door opener is still in here which maybe I could have it taken out but if I decide to take this wall down and sell the house one day I would want all of that to be intact so here is where you all see me crafting there's my crafting table and then behind my crafting table again I created a beautiful Christmas space this is the first time that I have ever done a small tree after the holidays are over I usually move all of my Christmas decor out into my main home but I just felt like my studio this year needed something lovely and I found this um, Christmas tree at a resale shop and then I just added in some pretty bows some of those baked oranges and basically all of the leftover ornaments that I had floating around in my Christmas tote I'm gonna play some music now and let you guys just peek around my Christmas crafting studio Making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you these are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's 
And there is Tinky, my kitty cat, saying hi. She's kind of hard to catch on video, but some of you all that have been with me from the beginning ask about her. So outside on my back porch, I really didn't want to go and buy a bunch of outdoor pillows for this space. So I basically kind of just made like a Christmas tropical um, space. I took some of my summer garland and added Christmas ribbon and Christmas ornaments to it and then created a really pretty little lantern to go out on my little space out here. Of course, this space isn't really gonna get used that much, so I didn't go too crazy over the top, and I'm already having a little bit of problem with the wind blowing that garland around that's on the little coffee table, but I did add this gingerbread street. I added bows to my little topiaries on either side here, and I do love this space in the summer. It is so fun. And then, of course, there's Benji Beer. He is the star of the show. He loves being out here. This is his, actually, um, place. And then, I don't know if you guys saw my video this summer where I did kind of a Barbie um, back patio makeover, kind of a collaboration with Bear Paint, um, painting some of my items back here pink. And then to transform it into a Christmas wonderland, I just added in some garland and some cute little trees. Again, I didn't go too crazy or over the top with this space. Maybe I'll decorate it for Valentine's Day. I really do want to do a Valentine's Day home tour for you all. Now Benji Bear wants to bring you guys back inside and share with you guys the main bathroom. Again, I have Christmas pretty much every room in this house. So this is my main bathroom and I did my same curtaining effect. I found the pretty little ornament wreath at a resale shop and then I just added garland above the mirror. The picture again is from the resale shop and my curtaining technique, I basically, um, glued two curtains together and then added panels to either side. I have a pretty um, balsam Bath and Body Works candle going. I put some of my bathroom goodies into really pretty jars. And then I shared a DIY with you guys about how to create that pretty little um, uh, Christmas towel. And then that's just a cute little Dollar Tree snowman that I added, but it really does feel so festive and cozy in my home. And it's such a blessing and honor to have you all take a tour of my home. I have one more space to share with you guys, which is some of the outdoor that I have decorated as well. So this is my fun Christmas front porch. I shared a DIY with you guys on how to create these presents and also this beautiful garland and even the wreath on my front door. I feel like the front door space is just such a festive, fun space. And every time we come home, it just brings a smile to my face. Baby, this year it's just gonna be you and me. Well, so I'm 
much for joining me on this Christmas home tour. A huge prayer and love goes out to Karen and all of the lovely ladies that joined me in my home. Thank you for making my home a part of your Christmas home tour celebration. And if you guys would like to donate, I'm gonna leave a link in the description box for that fundraiser. And I just want you to know that I love you all so, so much. Um, as part of my Olivia's Romantic Home community, thank you so, so much for being here. Thank you for watching my videos. This is my sixth season on YouTube, and it is a blessing and honor to be able to craft and decorate and share my love of homemaking with you all, which is completely from my heart. Um, I believe that um, you can have a beautiful home on a budget no matter where you're at, and you can easily start by just tidying up your space and, um, you know, just finding ways to make it cozy with a pretty candle or a pretty decoration or more more than anything, um, faith and family, feeling it full of those things. And, um, you know, no matter what size your home is, it can be beautiful. Um, and so I am just thankful and honored to share my love and joy of homemaking with you all. And I hope you continue to watch my videos. And if you guys need more inspiration, I post daily videos on Facebook. I post weekly videos on YouTube and I post on Instagram and TikTok. I just want to share my love of crafting and decorating with you guys. So I would love to invite you to any of those platforms. If you want to share photos of your home decor and DIY projects, I have an Olivia's Romantic Home Facebook group page. Anyway, so I just wanted to update you guys on how you can find my content and, um, you know, just thank you guys for being here and remind you that no matter what you're going through, if you wake up and you have been given a new day, that is a gift from the Lord. So you can make that day um, a beautiful day, even if you don't feel necessarily great, you don't maybe look great, maybe you have an injury or a health problem or your, your heart is broken. Um, you know, you don't ever know what somebody's going through. So um, do your best to take advantage of every day that God has given you as that gift. So use that gift to its fullest. Sometimes the smallest thing we can do is simply smile at somebody or to ask them how their day is going. I know my daughter does that all the time and I'm so impressed with how she does that. She'll say, how's your day going? And I think people don't think to do that. Um, we're just in such a hustle and bustle of life. So take that time. Um, to text somebody, to call somebody, to reach out, to love on somebody, to give them a hug, to share your heart with them. So anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. We have more crafting and decorating, believe it or not, to finish out the season. We are going to be moving in to winter crafts after Christmas and then moving in to Valentine's Day crafting, which you guys know I'm a huge fan of romantic um, decor. So you're going to love some of those fun things. And I do a Valentine's Day Christmas tree and I'm going to be doing a Valentine's Day romantic home tour for you guys because I have gone over the top this year with my Christmas. So I'm thinking I'm just going to change out a lot of the little ornaments and put in hearts. So I can't wait to share that with you guys. So I don't want you to be sad that Christmas is over. Um, just know that we're going to be doing more crafting and decorating and I have been doing this for six years. So if you guys need crafting and decorating inspiration for any season, I'm a seasonal enthusiast and I'm a homemaking enthusiast. So all you guys have to do is go to my playlist on my YouTube channel and press play and you can find so many different fun crafting and decorating ideas and I've done them all on a budget pretty much using um, items from Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, the thrift store and whatnot. And you can easily take any of my ideas and make them more high end or make them you know, more rustic or make them more glam just by changing the ribbon, the pink color and all that kind of fun stuff. So I love y'all. I'm wishing you a gorgeous, fabulous, blessed day. I am so blessed and honored to have you here. I can't wait for our next videos. And until then, remember, be kind to yourselves, be kind to one another, and we'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye.